weak as You just stop in the though. What does this say? Weak as You mad, ain't you? You finna be real mad. Came out the weak ass balls. Testicles. Two balls. I got balls on my ass. You mess with the bitch, you gotta sit in the dog house. What the Brandon, stop playing with me. Brandon. Chill out. Chill no, out. don't tell me to chill out. Chill out. Guys, name's Natalie, and today we're going to learn English expressions with a TV show that aired on MTV called How Far Is It Too Far? The premise of this um, TV show was basically that two people went there, could be a couple, could be friends, and they would pick each other's um, tattoos, pretty much always based on payback, revenge, um, to teach a lesson, you know, that most um, clever, intelligent idea to get something that will stick in your skin for the rest of your life. There were some cute, rare cases, but you know, we don't want that. We want the nasty junk part of it. I want that. I know you want too. So please subscribe to my channel to help it grow and to see this deplorable side of humanity in my next videos as well. Ashley's always trying to have the biggest balls in the room. I'm finally going to show Ashley who the top dog is. The meaning of the English expression, the top dog, would be basically uh, who is in charge, uh, the boss, the leader, uh, someone who is dominant. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. This is the worst tattoo I've seen. Isn't it nuts? Yeah. Jeez, I was thinking people got to be really, really crazy to get a tattoo, pick it up by someone else, someone that doesn't like you that much. Because you know, tattoo is forever, man. Your ass is gonna go viral. I love how the hosters always have an encouragement phrase, how they always help throwing gasoline into the fire. <laughs> Expression doesn't deny how she loves the results. <laughs> Are you serious? Balls. Testicles. Two balls. I mean, they don't come in four. They're balls. They like come under in two. a man's like thing. Two balls. They don't come in four. <laughs> I mean, they don't come in four. Man, how can they be best friends? Like, your best friend would probably never bully you and you probably wouldn't want balls on your friend's ass. Would you? The f I got balls on my ass! People are gonna be like, what the f is sticking out of her bathing suit? Balls. Ashley had to make it known like she has like the bigger ball so to speak. Oh, let's learn English expression number two to get balls, you know, to be courageous, to make it happen, to have guts. But man, how people get balls to let someone else to pick up uh, what kind of tattoo they're gonna get for the rest of their lives? You know, get balls? <laughs> That's insane. Well, let's see these two other friends. You know, I love how friends love each other in this TV show. I bet that that's exactly how you behave with your best friend. What does it say? I can't see it. You a backstabbing bitch. This is f***ing weak. Are you f***ing serious, Jerrica? This is weak as f***. Can you talk all that sh Let's go. Where are your turn at f***ing weak as f***? You just stop in the show. What does this say? We you mad, ain't you? You finna be real mad. Came out the weekend. You open your legs every night. I know you ain't talking about prostitutes. Open your legs every night. I know you ain't talking about. Let's learn the third English expression, backstabber. That would be someone who's a betrayer, a traitor, a hypocrite. Someone that do shit to screw you up behind your back. You mess with the bitch, you gotta sit in the dog house. Mm -hmm. You wanna explain this tattoo? I chose the dog because when that girl messaged me, she said that he had bent her over in all fours on my couch. <laughs> and the face was because you cheated on me with a bitch that was so disgusting. Now everyone's gonna be laughing at you. 
this doesn't change how I feel about you. I'm still gonna love you until the end of time. What a hypocrite son of a bitch. He's an ass and he's a cheater and I'm just gonna forget him. The English expression number four is cheater and it means basically someone who's cheating on someone. And cheating means when you are in an allegedly monogamous relationship and you're going out with other people, you're seeing someone else. You're doing the nasty, you know? Are you serious? We really didn't know the right. difference. What the f? Brandon, stop playing. Is this supposed to be Peyton? We can chill out. Brandon. Chill out. Chill no, out. don't tell me to chill out. Don't, don't, don't touch me. I've Never, ever, ever, ever use our child as a pawn. I don't yes, want you. you. Do. Man, how fucked up is to address something that serious and personal on TV? On top of that, on a TV show that makes you look like a freaking clown in front of everybody. Like, what about talking in the relationship? You're exposing your problems to everybody. I keep thinking, what is the process that goes on inside those people's heads? Like, we're fucked up at home, let's sort it out by going to a TV show and getting offensive tattoos. What are you saying that she's using Peyton for as a pawn? I think she's obsessed with me, because she will text me and be like, you have to do this to see your kid. This last couple man, like, they're both idiots, he's a prankster, and here is their contribution to this outstanding TV show. Shut the f up, Stefan. Shut up. Uh, I'm gonna throw up. She's so sure that he's an asshole that she starts immediately crying. Like, nice relationship. Can I just see it? <laughs> what, is, what is this? <gasps> Why do you have a toilet on my back? What does it say? You're dumb. The depression phase of everybody, even the tattooers are feeling the cringiness of the moment, you know? <laughs> They're feeling for this girl, man. I, I'm done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Is this a prank, Tim? I'm not breaking up with you. Hold up, hold up. I don't know if those things are all set up or not, but as soon as he says, wait, she stops immediately to hear what he has to say, like she was already expecting uh, that this would happen. But regardless, this shit is so humiliating, so ridiculous, this whole situation. You're straight up saying this whole thing was a prank? Yes. I, I just wanted you to know, like, I'm the king of the prank war. Just give me my prop. I don't know why people go to a TV show like this, like to expose themselves like this in a ridiculous way. Maybe it's for clout? I don't know. The fifth and last English expression we're going to learn is dumped. When you're dumped, it means your partner no longer wants to be with you, so they kick your ass, basically. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to my channel, it helps me enormously. And leave in the comments down below what you'd like to see me commenting on the next video. Hope to see you in the next video. Peace.